I know, I know, I know. It's not really craft beer, but hey, it's for the college kid, the one that's on a budget, and the one that wants to get the most alcohol for their dollar. Let's do this, guys. Beer, 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 ba, beer, ba, beer, beer, beer. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to me, May Bruski from the Rushka Bruski Review. And today, the beer I have for you is Laker Ice. Another one of those ice beers, because more alcohol is better. A Canadian invention. And Laker is brewed by Waterloo Brewing Company, if I'm not mistaken. Da 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 da. Where did it go? Here it is. Yep, Waterloo Brewing creates Laker. Laker brand. We got Laker Ice coming in at 5.5% alcohol by volume. No listed IBUs here on the all black can with a nice Canadian sort of landscape background there. Very, very nice. Seems like all the ice beers are in a very dark, you know, dark color, looking very angry kind of thing, but bold stuff. All marketing. All marketing. But yeah, 5.5% alcohol, alcohol by volume. Jeez Louise. No IBUs here, no IBUs on the website, but Untapped is coming in at only 13 IBUs, which makes perfect sense because it's usually just a lager with a little bit more alcohol. So that's cool. Let's crack this bad boy open. Let's see what we've got pouring it into my Beer 101 pint glass because glassware is fun and I don't have too much here. Going back home for reading really soon, so you'll see more of the fancy glassware that I have back there. See if it's better than the curling ice. I would assume so, because that curling ice was really weird. Not my thing. But this, looking like any, I guess, macro brew, golden in color, fairly clear, bit of white head on top, outside the light, super clear. You can see right through the damn thing. Let's have a smell. Almost, I don't know. White bread, sweet, sweet corn, a little bit of caramel. Almost a touch of like a like a cardboardy sort of aroma as well. But it doesn't smell too too bad. It smells like a regular beer, you know. There's not too much. I'm sorry. This is really pissing me off. My my whatever. Yeah, it doesn't smell too bad. Let's have a sip. Hmm. On the sip, not as sweet as the uh, Carling Ice, which I actually really do like. It's a bit more. Just beery, just bready, slightly grainy, a little bit of a little bit of a caramel sweetness to it, but not too overbearing. It's not trying to, I don't know, sweeten the pot. It doesn't taste like there was like a bit of like simple syrup or, or slight just sweetener added. It just tastes like a solid, solid lager. Yeah, it's a good time. Cheers, everybody. Let's keep on drinking on a budget. Let's have a touch of sweetness. Like I said, though, not overbearing. Um, when I say sweetness, I mean sort of like, like a syrupy, nondescript, just sugary, sugared water sweetness. It does have a bit of that, but nothing too, too crazy. Nothing that sets it, you know, it makes me not want to drink it. It's, it's solid. It's cheap. It's higher alcohol. It's 0.5 over your regular average 5%. Can't go wrong. Light, crisp, slightly airy of a mouthfeel. Not overbearing, but it is fairly carbonated. Ooh. Ooh. As you can see by that little burp succession of things, drinking it fast will get you bloated, will get you burpy burpy, which is fine if you don't mind that. Then I guess that's the thing that you have to kind of get, you know, you get used to when you drink a lot of beer is, you know, you're going to have burpy time and that's fine. It can be a little uncomfortable though, if you can't burp, but that's neither here nor there. Not bad. Looking on the all black, well, mostly all black can, Laker Ice 5.5% alcohol by volume 13 IBUs according to Untapped, proudly brewed in Ontario. Um, any information? Not really. Waterloo Brewing Co. Kitchener, Ontario. On the bottom there is a canned on date. 
but you can't really read it. Maybe Jade, no, I don't know. I can't read it. It's there, it's clearly labeled, but at the same time it's not because you have the black can. So the black can covers up the black ink. But there is a date code there. Date code there, sorry. Just put it maybe on the bottom or don't put it in the black. Because black on black gets hidden. Just like any color with another the same color. Hidden. So, half point for that, I guess. Now, moving over to the website, lakerbeer.com. You go to the beer section, you scroll down a little bit, and you find Laker Ice. And here, we do have a description which reads, As an ice-filtered beer with a fresh, smooth finish, Laker Ice is a very drinkable beer with an appealing aroma and a slightly higher alcohol strength. A little extra bite for those days when the fish won't get it. No, wow, I can't believe I fucked that up. A little extra bite for those days when the fish just won't. Available in 473 mil tall boy single cans, um, 15 packs of 355s, also 24 packs of the 473s, and 12 packs, uh, 12 and 24 bottle packs as well. You can find it at the beer store and your LCBO. Speaking of pricing, I'm just gonna go off the uh, you know single 473 ml tall boy can. Picking this up for a toonie, a couple bucks. Can't go wrong at all. I will list all pricing for well LCBO and beer store down in the description box below for your viewing and you know budgeting pleasure. Woohoo! Budget beer, always a good time. <clears throat> Finally. Moving over to Untapped, Laker Ice has been given a 2.55 bottle caps out of 5, and that's out of just over 1,400 ratings. You know what? It's not a magical beer. It's, uh, it's not bad. It's not great. It's a budget beer. And you know what? It has no offensive flavors. It's sort of just, here's beer. Whatever you think beer smells like, whatever you think beer tastes like, this is the beer. They do it, it's clean, it's crisp, it's cheap, and it's effective. What more can you ask for? That's why we're not getting into that right now. But with that said, cheers on the final sip. Let's get ready to range and wrap this thing up. Liquor Ice, Waterloo Brewing Co. Cheap, effective beer. You got it down pat. That's where Laker Ice gets a solid. Because, you know, it's a good beer, but it's not amazing. It gets a solid. It's a solid. Six out of ten for me. Actually thoroughly impressed by this. Uh, usually budget beers can be kind of a hit or miss. But I'm happy with where I'm leaving it. As for presentation, again, black can, more or less, with a nice bit of a... Uh, sort of like outline of a, I guess, scenery, which is pretty cool. Very nice, very clean, crisp, modern. Um, no real information other than the alcohol by volume. There is a brewed on date or canned on date on the bottom. Not totally legible, so half mark there. Website, very clean as well, just like the beer. Nice bit of a description and leaving your availability sizes of you know what kind of what kind of styles you want. You got the tall boy, the short boy, the bottles, and how many you want. That's a nice little bonus as well. Overall, presentation gets a solid gets a solid five out of ten for me. Before I leave you guys, if you have any comments, questions, or beers you want to review in the future, leave all that information down in the comment box below. If you want to go ahead and like this video or subscribe to me, Mate Bruce, you'd be greatly appreciated as well. And with all that said, that's going to do it for me, Mate Bruce, like I always say, crack a beer and enjoy. Cheers. Pouring up the last bit of Laker ice into my glass, because it's what you do when you're done your glass. Duh. Cheers.